Family Fun Fact Cooking. So today, we're gonna teach you guys how to make one of the best apple cobblers you've ever tasted. Not only is it the best tasting, but it only has six ingredients. Cinnamon, white sugar, flour, brown sugar, butter, and apples. The first step is to peel your apples. We're using about five, six pounds of apples, or 12 to 15. You have to see how many you like, and it depends on how big they are. Now, I'm a pro apple peeler, but to peel your apples, hold one in your left hand, peel it in your right hand, start at the top, make a circle. Oh, that looks so cool. So we're just cutting off a circle. I start at the top anywhere and just start peeling the circle. Ooh, that's satisfying. And there you go, one done. <laughs> it's okay if you have a little bit of peel on the apple. That won't make any difference in the cobbler. So when you're making an apple cobbler and you have apples that have bruise spots on them, it's really okay to put them in the cobbler. They're all going to cook and be perfect. Maybe apple cobbler is the perfect thing to make if you have a couple bruised apples. It is. And if your apples are getting a little older and they're not really crisp anymore, apple cobbler is the perfect way to use them. The next thing we're going to do is quarter the apples and take out the centers. So I'm going to take out the centers and then after I do that part, Alyssa is going to slice them. Ooh, I get the fun part. <laughs> How big should I cut them? Each one should have three slices. So she's cutting all the apples into four pieces and I'm cutting each of those pieces into three. The reason we're cutting each quarter into thirds is because we want all the sizes to be about the same so they'll cook evenly in the oven. We're going to add a quarter of a cup of flour. That'll help thicken it as it cooks. Now, apples are pretty sweet, but we always add a little more sugar. So I'm using less than a cup, probably about a half a cup. The part that smells the best is two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Oh, I smell it. Now that it's all mixed really well, Pour it into an 8 by 12 baking dish that I have previously oiled. Now, the next part is the most fun. I'm going to set this aside for one second while we prepare the topping. The topping is very simple. One cube of butter, that is one half cup. We're going to add one cup of flour. And then add one cup of packed brown sugar. The last ingredient for the streusel topping is one tablespoon of cinnamon. Just so you know, we washed our hands carefully before we do this next part. But ever since I was a little girl, this was the only way you do it. You put one hand in and you mix it all together into a crumble. <laughs> you get the honors. Whoa, it feels so weird. Okay, that looks about right. So it should look all crumbly, like sand, little pebbles in it. Then we're gonna take it like this in our hand and smash it together. And then break the smash crumbling over the top. That's satisfying. It's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> if, you, if you just put the sand on the top, it makes a real soft crumble, but if you squeeze it first and then put the big lumps everywhere, it makes a more textured crumble. You have to squeeze it really hard so you get really good big clumps of goodness. The crumble on top is literally the best part. It's so good. Some people make cobblers with a regular pie crust. I don't because I don't like crust very much and I think it's a, maybe a little bit healthier just to do this. You could even add oatmeal to this as a crumble if you wanted. 
I prefer flour, butter, brown sugar. Set your oven to 350 and bake your apple cobbler for 30 to 40 minutes. When you get done with the cobbler, test it with a fork. The apple should be very tender. The timer went off, it's been 40 minutes, so we're gonna give it a quick check with a fork. The apples are not quite soft enough, but it's getting nice and brown on the top. We're gonna give it another few minutes. We're gonna check it again and see if it's done. Ooh, it looks good. It looks good. Yep, nice and soft, see that? See how you put the fork in and the apple is soft, perfect. Oh, it smells heavenly. We're gonna let it sit here and cool for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna serve it with some cold vanilla ice cream. The cobbler is all cooled down and it's ready to serve. Oh, that sounds oh, perfect. So good. Ooh, this looks so good. Oh, I know it's your favorite, David. I love apple cobbler. Would you like some? Yes, please. Hmm. David or Alyssa? Uh-oh, oh, someone oh, else is here. So good. So good, yeah. I need some. I okay. need some. We'll get you some. I need some, Nanny. Do you need some, sweet baby? Uh, yeah. Well, it turned out perfect. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.